Hey guys, Skill on Noodle here. I wanted to show my technique for hand painted texturing assets in Blender and Photoshop, and how I created the scene of some mushrooms in a forest. If you want more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe for more Blender tutorials. To create the mushrooms for the scene, I started off by adding the cylinder and adding some edge loops. I made the shape more organic by turning on proportional editing and rotating the top of the mushroom. To create the mushroom top, all I did was add a cube, subdivide it, squash it down, and push in the bottom a little bit. For the painted effect on the texture, I unwrapped the cylinder along the seam facing away from the camera, and I separated the mushroom's top by its top side and bottom side. I adjusted the UV maps around so that nothing was overlapping. I did this so that I could paint each separate element in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, GIMP, Creator, or any other photo editing software should work just fine for this. I exported the UV map and moved into Photoshop. In Photoshop, I added the UV map, painting the top, bottom, and the stem of the mushroom. I used a low opacity brush and added lines and dots to indicate variation on the mushroom surface. Make sure to have fun with this and don't worry too much about every small detail. The texture will interact with light and that's where most of the intricacy will come in. After a quick paint job, I exported the texture without the UV map visible. Moving back into Blender, I applied the image texture to a principled BSDF. I did the same technique for the other smaller mushrooms, duplicating, resizing, and moving them around. For the ground, I simply added a plane and subdivided a few times. I used the proportional editing tools to form it into a small hill where I could place my subject and other models. I made sure to make it uneven for an organic appearance and to help aid in the composition. After that, I added a forest texture to the ground. I usually source nearly all my textures from either textures.com or Polygon, and find it usually covers everything I need. For the grass, I grabbed some realistic grass and shrub models off of Quixel Megascans. If I can, I always try to source assets from the Megascans library before going to other sites. I brought the models and their corresponding textures into Blender, placing them into different collections. I added them as a hair particle on my ground plane, and adjusted their size, variation, and orientation. To finish off the scene, I used a skin modifier to create a simple tree trunk and roots. With the skin modifier, I'm able to simply model using vertices and edges without having to worry about how the shape will curve and scale. To have the roots stick onto the ground, I used a snap tool and had the mesh snap to the face. This allowed me to quickly have the roots wrap around the ground, adding a chaotic and organic variation of the composition. After modeling the tree trunk, I applied the skin modifier and unwrapped the shape using smart UV projection. This is a quick but sometimes messy way to unwrap an advanced shape like this. I applied a tree trunk texture and called the tree trunk finished. I was able to make this scene relatively quickly. And using the hand painted technique for the mushrooms, you can apply that same technique to the entire scene. This will give you the look of games like Fortnite, Borderlands, and other cartoon styled art. Have fun with this method, and apply different styles to it to give your scenes a personalized look. I hope you enjoyed this Blender tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe, and leave a comment below on what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.